Lydia! <laughs> hey. How are you doing? You know, after not seeing you for a few days, I actually started to miss you. Who would have thought? I've been meaning to ask you, Lydia, that night when I was almost run over by that car, was it you that saved me? Huh? What are you talking about? The time that I went searching for you when we thought the rabbit, I mean, Aphesus, was after you. I was fully prepared to die when the headlights came into view. But before I knew it, I was resting on your lap on the sidewalk. It was like a bluish sconce, then I heard you say something right before I blacked out. Lars, Ars Moriendi, uh, Riemann Val. No! Anne Nestois. La Ars Moriendi, Remit Val, Anne You can't. Huh? What happened? Time stopped. Those words you just uttered only work if you recite them while holding this pen. Time has stopped? <laughs> Come on, that's... Impossible? Well, think again. It's real. Lydia, if that's true, then help me understand. We're friends, aren't we? That night, I muttered those words to save you from being run over. Those words derived from a primitive language, dating back to the earliest days of humanity. Think of me as a... programmer. Like you, Arita. Uh... You asked for an explanation, so there it is. Wait a minute. Programmer? Primitive language? Come on, it's not like we're in a computer program. Literally, no. But the foundations are similar. Everything can be broken down into smaller units of information. My language serves as building blocks of energy. Perhaps in the same way your code powers system commands. Like a magic spell of sorts. Oh, okay, hold up, listen. There's no such thing as magic. No, but there are fantastical phenomena. You've seen them for yourself already, haven't you? You saw what I can do, right? Using strings of letters to fix this world. With this pen. Uh, oh, yeah. When I discovered Lydia sopping wet in a thick coat of blood, there was light blue text radiating. You see, I've been doing my best to correct the mistakes that have been appearing in our world. That's why I'm a programmer too, Arita. I am what's known as an observer. Someone who can shape the material order of our world. Oh, my head's spinning. Uh, let me get this straight. You're telling me that you can oversee and manipulate the real world similarly to how I control Odyssey? Exactly. In truth, I'm forbidden from intervening with history, so... When I saved your life, I broke the rules. But I couldn't let you die back there. I 
I didn't want to see you die. You see, this is the last we'll see of each other. I... I couldn't stop the world from falling apart. For that, I must be punished. What? Why? Because... Failure isn't an option in my line of work. Anyways... It's not just infatuation, you know? It's much more than that. I wish I could have spent more time with you, Arata. I wanted to play with you or draw beside your desk. And make games forever. Lydia. <laughs> Lydia, listen, I, I still don't know what any of this means, but please don't leave me. You still want to make games together, right? Uh, let's do it then. I'll be there. Tokiwa too, and Sheena. Where are you going? Don't go! Nothing. Harta, I love you. Hug me. Lydia. I know. I know. I was only kidding anyway. Forget what I just said. Harta, I think the last observer shared the same fate as me, so. Here. Take this. What kind of ancient artifact is this? See, the previous observer left it behind. I'm supposed to destroy it. But each of my predecessors kept records. Now I understand why. <gasps> and this. The South Pen. These are the last two OO parts. Out of place artifacts. I'm leaving the rest to you, Arata. Lydia. I committed one of the worst sins, but. I wanted to change this world for the better. I believe you can break the cycle. Please, stop the Ludens. Lydia, wait! Use the formulas inside that book to manipulate the world. Harta, I pass my powers on to you. I believe in you. Besides, altering something like the Alice Engine is a piece of cake. With this book, you could practically brew tea with your belly button. Uh, uh, why would you brew tea with your belly button? <laughs> Don't get it, Arata. A girl's belly button is the door to her heart. How many times must I tell you? Only love can overcome darkness. You're not making sense, you idiot. <laughs> okay. I'll cool it on the Moe talk. Goodbye. Arata. I'll never forget you. I promise. We'll meet again. <laughs> Damn it. 
Lydia, that wasn't Moe talk. That was just your fetish coming out. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll do whatever it takes. <sighs>